It is the holiday Monday here in Canada, natal day in the Halifax Dartmouth area and BC day out west. So hope everyone is able to settle in and enjoy a long weekend and what a treat we have for you this afternoon. Introducing the teams, we will begin with the Halifax Wanderers who have a full bench with a new face on it. That is Jordan Perutza, but let's talk about the starters. Two changes to this team. Andre Rampersad wearing the captain's armband is in for Mo Omar, dropped to the bench, and Joao Morelli will get his first start of the campaign. James Berman bringing just four outfield subs today. Paul Amadume, Bradley Fleet, Stephen Yates, and Ayman Salouf, and starting in his 4-3-3. You know, things like Rampersad playing a bit higher up earlier in the season, I think he looks much more comfortable deeper now. But now I think he has it kind of figured out, and they look like a team that's not just dangerous, but flexible. Aiden Daniels receives the pass from Zachary Fernandez and is played back to the fullback. Into the box, Morel is there, but it sits so low! Huge block to deny Massimo Ferran the first shot on target of the match. It starts out wide, and Joao Morelli, like a magnet, Ollie, is going to be a busy boy today in attack. Yeah, he wondered where Jao Morelli would fit into this side, whether it would be as an advanced midfielder. It is Adonai Jari looking into the box, but it goes straight to Philly and makes it a catch. Yeah, it might just not be a matchup they really fancy today, to be honest, with Ongaro and Dinich on the other sides, but... Fernandez from Joao Morelli is in the box and plays it across the face of Goran Ramir Dinich. Corner. We'll go short again. To Mateo. Lays it off to Ferran. Now it's a tasty ball in. Both clubs do it from Gazdov. Fullbacks are running just about everything. Both in black and white and in blue. And Heavy first touch and just enough of an opening for Dynamic to calmly take the ball right off the striker's boots. Limit not in a bit of trouble. It is on goal. Easton on goal. Off of Gail Lockery, I thought. Nullifies the danger with a simple header. Pacific are just doing their jobs. It's as simple as that right now. On goal. Defended, puts it behind her. Reads on the loose ball. Out of the lead. Goes for goal and sends it. You're going to get teams coming here and paying a lot more respect to you setting up in a more cautious way and just trying to frustrate you and Pacific so far have been successful in that. It is Darren Watson. First shot on target comes in minute 38. Adam Ajarine, out swinger. Nicely played off the near post by Lorenzo Caligari, maybe saving a goal. Keeping the bodies forward. Reed back in. There goes the Soaring, Amir Didich comes up empty-handed, but a race now on goal! It goes across, Thomas Mays again! At the stroke of half time, the Sarva puts Pacific ahead of this match! Just exactly what you wanted to avoid if you're Halifax. Just get in over the whistle to half time. And they couldn't ever convincingly clear this set piece situation. Easton Ongara, we're going to see in the replay in a second here, does really well just to keep this ball alive. Having Timoteo and Nimic, or they almost play in a back three in possessioning. They're so good at hitting those diagonals. Lockery caught in a little bit of no man's land. Slipped back looking for Aparicio, trying to swing around Aparicio. Young to her. Gets the stanchion behind goal. These are the types of tests that will pay off down the road. Aparicio, oh, that's dangerous, and it's finished lovely by Josh Hurd again. Second match in a row on the road where the skipper puts his side up by two goals to nil. An absolute no hesitation on a brilliant goal from Manny Aparicio. And a hush has fallen at Wanderers' grounds. No goal for Easton Ongaro, and obviously he'll want more of those, but he's really playing in a shift over these past couple of weeks. This is Baruta running right at Mukumbil. What delays? Baruta shoots. Good stop, Gazdorf. Wide right open, though. And another touch. Hammering it is Ferrazzo. Ricochets, and Halifax have won a corner. Into the box from Timoteo yes, Wilson. No! Timoteo deliver 
here again. Stayed on mark at the back post. Couldn't keep the ball down or on frame. Can they get it done at the death? Oh, no, he skips it. Oh, no. He has produced some magical moments on this pitch this season, but that certainly isn't one of them. And that's full time. A dramatic match from start to finish. Controversy goals and a highly entertaining contest on this holiday Monday.